Total solar eclipses, very, very rare. Well, it turns out they happen much more frequently than you might think. Newswatch 16 meteorologist Jeremy Lawan is on an eclipse cruise off the coast of Mexico this week. So he sets the record straight with some help from a scientist on day three of Jeremy's journeys. There are at least two solar eclipses and two lunar eclipses every year. And as far as total solar eclipses, like the one we'll have on April 8th... Total solar eclipse occurs on average every 18 months. If you uh, are willing to travel to see them, you could see one every year or two. Oftentimes you may hear eclipses are rare or unusual phenomena. What's rare, especially for a solar eclipse, is to have one in any particular spot. Over 70% of the Earth is covered in water. Most of the time, total solar eclipse paths cross wide swaths of ocean and unpopulated areas on land. If you were to stay in one place and wait for a total solar eclipse to come to you, you'd have to wait on average three to 400 years. So in that sense, a total solar eclipse is rare because it rarely comes to where you live. But a total solar eclipse occurring somewhere on Earth is not rare at all. It's not often that total solar eclipses cut through the United States and include big cities on the eclipse path. The 2017 eclipse uh, that crossed the country from coast to coast went over a lot of relatively sparsely populated areas and very few big cities. So there were maybe 12 million people who lived in the path of totality. This time, more than 30 million people live within the path of totality. And it's estimated, I've seen estimates of anywhere from 4 to 10 million people who are going to travel into the path. So that's 40 million people seeing the total eclipse. But the entire population of North America will have at least a partial eclipse. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, half a billion people. I think that this will be certainly the most watched uh, total solar eclipse in the Western Hemisphere. Jeremy Luan, Newswatch 16, reporting from the most important cargo port in all of Mexico, Manzanillo.